After 206 years, scholars and religious authorities were able to see the tomb where Jesus was buried. On Wednesday, October 26, the Edicule, the little chapel that encloses the Holy Sepulchre, was closed for historical works. For the first time since 1810, the marble slab covering the place beneath which the remains of the rock of Jesus' tomb lie has been moved. The last time this happened was in 1555. The event was held behind closed doors in the presence of the Orthodox Patriarch Theophilus III, accompanied by a small delegation of religious and scientists, the delegation of the custody of the Holy Land, composed by the custodial vicar Father Dobromir Jastal, as well as Father Eugenio Aliatas, archaeologist of the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum, Father Narciso Klimas, Father Enrique Bernageau, Father David Grenier, and the architect Osama Hamdan from the Scientific Commission. There was a delegation of Armenians led by Bishop Savan in addition to the Cops of the Holy Sepulchre. Con le conclusioni generali saranno tratte da the general conclusions will be drawn by the project managers and presented at the end of the work. However, some things have already been notified and some were observed since there were witnesses, especially for the now famous opening of the marble top plate that covers the Holy Sepulchre. La ormai celebre apertura della lastra superiore di marmo che copre il Santo Sepolcro. Le novità principali riguardano la scoperta della presenza di. The main developments include the discovery of a lower plate engraved with a cross that is the typical cross of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem. Una croce che è la tipica croce del patriarcato di Gerusalemme latino. Inoltre, al di sotto di questa seconda lastra c'è Furthermore, at the bottom of this second plate there is the real rock. So this means that the original rock of the tomb, the bench on which, according to tradition, Christ was deposed, is just below the two plates that cover it, about 35 centimeters above the modern pavement. But we do not know the measurements from the ancient floor circa 35 centimetri sopra il pavimento eh, moderno, non sappiamo quanto esattamente sul pavimento antico. As Father Narcisio Climas, professor of church history and of the custody of the Holy Land, points out, the marble slab found under the temporarily removed stone is split in half and presumably dates to the Crusades. The position of the bank and the rock in which the tomb was excavated, found in the walls surrounding the Edicule, would seem to indicate that it is an archaeosolium-type tomb used in this period, and not to Chochim, as some have claimed. The studies of the archaeologists and specialists will confirm these findings. Because of the state of decay of the Edicule in June, works began thanks to the agreement between the leaders of the three communities that share the ownership of the Basilica, Greek Orthodox, Franciscan and Armenian. Ecco, non tutto è possibile verificare direttamente. Not everything can be verified instantly. The Gospel gives very valuable evidence on the stone rolled away and also on the smallness of the opening through which you can look inside only from a leaning position. The rock around it is visible. The Gospel recounts the essential enlightenment, a rock-cut tomb in which no one was placed before and on which the Lord was laid first. All seems to be confirmed by most recent surveys. Throughout the entire event, the pilgrims had free access to the basilica and to the tomb. Works are expected to be completed by next Easter. Then the communities present in Jerusalem and throughout the world will proclaim, He is not here, He is risen. <laughs>